viewers, I'm your host Pratiksha Mishra with another episode of South Asia Focus. Let's begin the show. The Make in India initiative integral to the Atmanirbhar Bharat vision is transforming country into a self-reliant manufacturing powerhouse. The recent inauguration of the C295 aircraft manufacturing plant in Gujarat by PM Modi and his Spanish counterpart Pedro Sanchez exemplifies this commitment marking a significant milestone. Set to roll out its first made in India aircraft by 2026, this facility will create thousands of jobs showcasing India's swift transition from concept to execution. As India celebrates a decade of Make in India, several new Make in India projects not only bolsters local production but also positions India as a key player in the global technology landscape. Take a look. In recent years, India has embarked on an ambitious journey to transform its economy and become a self-reliant nation. Launched in 2014, country's Make in India initiative encourages both domestic and international companies to invest in the country, enhancing local production and creating job opportunities. A landmark development in this endeavor occurred recently with the inauguration of the final assembly line plant for the C295 aircraft in country's Gujarat state. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his Spanish counterpart Pedro Sanchez jointly inaugurated this facility, which is co-produced by Airbus Spain and Tata Advanced Systems Limited in Vadodara. This facility is a key component of India's Atmanirbhar Bharat initiative. reflecting the nation's commitment to becoming a global manufacturing hub set to roll out its first made in india c295 aircraft in 2026 this plant is part of a larger plan to manufacture a total of 40 aircraft within india airbus aur tata ki is factory se bhi bharat mein hazaron rozgar ka nirman hoga इस प्रोजेक्ट के कारण एयरक्राफ्ट के 18,000 पार्ट्स की इंडिजीनियस मैन्युफैक्चरिंग होने जा रही है देश के किसी हिस्से से एक पार्ट मैन्युफैक्चर होगा तो देश के किसी दूसरे हिस्से में दूसरा पार्ट मैन्युफैक्चर होगा और ये पार्ट बनाएगा कौन हमारे माइक्रो और स्मॉल इंडस्ट्रीज ये काम करने वाले हैं प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी एम्फोसाइज दैट द इनोग्रेशन ऑफ द टाटा एयरक्राफ्ट कॉम्प्लेक्स नॉट ओनली स्ट्रेंथेंस द स्ट्रेटजिक पार्टनरशिप बिटवीन इंडिया एंड स्पेन बट आल्सो एक्सेलरेट्स द मिशन ऑफ मेक इन इंडिया मेक फॉर द वर्ल्ड प्राइम मिनिस्टर हाइलाइटेड दैट द कॉम्प्लेक्स एग्जेम्पलीफाइज द न्यू वर्क कल्चर ऑफ न्यू इंडिया शोकेसिंग द कंट्रीज रैपिड ट्रांजिशन फ्रॉम आइडिया टू प्रोजेक्ट एग्जीक्यूशन As the Make in India initiative celebrates its 10th anniversary, it showcases the country's commitment to transforming its manufacturing landscape and boosting its global presence. Through strategic reforms, investment-friendly policies, and a strong emphasis on infrastructure development, the initiative has significantly enhanced India's industrial capabilities. The success of indigenous projects such as the Vande Bharat trains and INS Vikrant along with record breaking FDI inflows highlights India's growing self-reliance and competitiveness on the global stage. As government is promoting PPP models to boost manufacturing in all sectors primary secondary tertiary everywhere. So this PPP model public private partnership model will certainly uh, bridge the gap bet uh, between skill infrastructure and investment this triangle shall promote uh, um, shall make india a great manufacturing hub in almost every sector be it it be it defense manufacturing or public consumer good for that matter in line with the make in india initiative india also aims to establish itself as a semiconductor powerhouse Prime Minister Modi has set forth ambitious objectives to boost the semiconductor sector, highlighting its crucial role in enhancing local production capabilities. The construction of multiple approved semiconductor units is progressing rapidly, 
contributing to the creation of a robust semiconductor ecosystem. This focus on indigenous production will reduce dependency on imports, strengthen the domestic supply chain and ultimately empower India to play a significant role in the global technology landscape. In Pakistan-occupied Gilgit, Baltistan, doctors have staged a significant protest demanding fair promotions and improved security. They voice concerns over systematic injustice within the healthcare system, highlighting inequities in promotion practices compared to other professions. A pressing security crisis and a severe shortage of doctors have further complicated their working conditions. A report. Doctors in Pakistan occupied Gilgit, Baltistan staged a significant protest highlighting the government's failure to address long-standing grievances. The demonstration revealed systematic injustices within the healthcare system as medical professionals united to advocate for their rights and demand urgent improvements in their working conditions. During the rally, protesting doctors voiced deep concerns about the inequities in promotion practices. The doctors emphasized a pressing security crisis in hospitals, underscoring the alarming safety conditions that medical professionals encounter on a daily basis. The shortage of doctors further compounds the problem. Many healthcare facilities are already understaffed, which means that those who are working often have to handle an overwhelming patient load. The protesting doctors issued a stark warning that if their concerns, that is, fair treatment and security are not addressed, they may be compelled to initiate a complete shutdown, effectively bringing POGB to a standstill. This ongoing decline in healthcare access and quality possesses significant challenges to the overall well-being of the population in POGB. Financial constraints and insufficient government investment have hindered improvements, leaving people without the necessary resources for adequate health services. As a result, residents often rely on traditional medicine or must travel long distances to access better health care, which can be both costly and time consuming. Time now for Asia this week, the stories from across the continent. Yamaha Motor, a leader in the motorcycle industry, is advancing its innovation to provide riders with more convenience, comfort and safety. Recently, the company introduced the Yamaha Automated Manual Transmission System, a breakthrough that combines the functions of a clutch lever, shift pedal and automated or manual transmission control into a single handlebar lever. オートバイとしての楽しさですね。を
これからもどんどん、えー、と高めていけるようにそのお客様にいろんな選択肢をお与えすることができるようにと心がけてやっております。With the YAMT system, riders can shift gears with a simple finger movement. The switch between automated and manual driving modes can also be controlled effortlessly with the same hand. This revolutionary system offers an unprecedented level of convenience and comfort for riders. By simplifying the riding experience, YAMT allows riders to better appreciate their surroundings and focus on road safety. As a result, the system promotes safer and more enjoyable rides. I first saw the YAMT when I saw it. It's not a clutch lever, it's not a shift pedal. I was really surprised at the first time. I was really surprised at the first time. まあ、オートマに関してはもう本当に右手一本でねこれだけのバイクを操作できちゃうんでまあなんか結構これはこれであまりこう気兼ねなくね乗れるんでなんかツーリングなんかいいかなとは思いましたし U ターンだとかちょっと渋滞した時とかってえと結構クラッチ操作難しいじゃないですかでまあなんかエンストしてねちょっとこうバランス崩してしまったとかそういうこともありえるし渋滞とかあの帰りの渋滞結構ねあ手疲れたクラッチとかってそういう時もあるじゃないですかそういう時にかなりこのシステムは有効なんじゃないかなというふうに思いました As the motorcycle industry enters a new era of innovation Yamaha Motor remains dedicated to offering more convenient comfortable and enjoyable riding experiences for bikers around the world This cutting edge technology was developed with the support and collaboration of leading companies and agencies in Japan. Angry Bangladeshi workers stormed the streets in Dhaka's Mirpur area on October 31st after a garment factory was suddenly shut down, leaving them with no work and no pay. Security personnel were deployed to quell the unrest as protesters set fire to police and army vehicles. Police reportedly used tear gas and fired shots to disperse the protesters, according to local media. Yamaha Motors global commitment to environmental sustainability and enhancing quality of life is making a significant impact worldwide. At the Otaru Canal in Hokkaido, sightseeing boats now feature Yamaha Motors electric engine delivering a quite comfortable experience for both passengers and local residents. This electric engine called Harmo combines an advanced electric motor with a smooth control system. In Taiwan, it's not very uh, the boat is not not very quiet. So, uh, it's, I take Yamaha's boat. It feel very good and soft and comfortable. Yamaha's green initiative aligns with the Otaru Canal's commitment to maintaining a clean environment by using both biodiesel and electric engines. The Harmo engine enables smooth turns, enhancing the sightseeing experience by offering clear views of the historic buildings along the canal. Yamaha Motor began researching and developing electric boat systems before 2016, driven by its mission of transforming mobility. Yamaha's innovation spans land, sky and water, from drones and electric vehicles to mobility chairs and marine transportation all part of its efforts to electrify transportation and reduce environmental impact. Yamaha's 
低速で走るというところにはですね、電動化の船外機というのは非常にニーズがありますのでマリンの製品においてもですね、あの電動化を進めてより環境に優しい製品作りモビリティのあり方というのを模索していきたいなというふうに考えておりますヤマハモーターズビジョンエクステンズビヨンドクリエイティングアカーンアンクリーンエンバーメントオンディケナル It is also targeting the skies and land aiming for eco-friendly innovation across all forms of mobility. Let's head to Ladakh, North India's premier destination for adventure enthusiasts. The capital Leh and its stunning surroundings provide an array of thrilling activities including tracking, mountaineering, river rafting and biking. With options available for all ages, the region particularly caters to young adventurers eager to explore. Bikers in Ladakh ride through a paradise of rock terrain and breathtaking views. From the trail of sharp mountain curves to the freedom of vast open roads, every turn offers a new adventure. Against the backdrop of towering peaks and endless skies, Ladakh is a biker's dream come true. यहाँ पे bikers के लिए का terrain इतना अच्छा है, roads इतने अच्छे हैं, plus इससे भी plus एक ये चीज़ है, आप जितने भी अपने world के highest motorable roads हैं, वो Ladakh में हैं. तो पहले आज से तीन चार साल पहले ये होते थे कि खरदुंगला highest motorable road थे. तो अभी अब जाके तो अभी तो इससे भी जाके आप अभी जो present है उमिंगला, which is the highest motorable road in the world. और आने वाले टाइम में इससे भी और पास ऊपर हाइट के और भी आने वाले तो एक ये सारे ऐसा बाइकर्स लवर लोगों का एक ड्रीम होता है कि मुझे वर्ल्ड के हाईस्ट रोड पे राइड करना है दी बेस्ट टाइम फॉर बाइकिंग इन लद्दाख इज फ्रॉम अप्रैल टू अक्टूबर व्हेन दी रोड्स आर ओपन एंड द वेदर इज प्लेजेंट विद डे टाइम टेम्परेचर बिटवीन फिफ्टीन एंड ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेल्सियस वाइल नाइट इन हायर ऑल्टीट्यूड एरियाज can drop to zero. Bikers typically choose sturdy bikes for rough terrain and high altitudes. Bike experience, car ke experience se bahut hi different hai. Zyada tar girls avoid karti hai by bike aana kyunki washroom agar ke dikkat ho jati hai raaste mein kyunki saare 300 km aisa tha jahan par kuch bhi nahi tha. Off roading bhi thi. Wahan par matlab literally no restaurant thing. Koi bhi rest karne ke liye koi bhi jagah nahi thi. बट uh, मेरा तो एक्सपीरियंस बहुत अच्छा था और हर लड़की को आना चाहिए मेरे हिसाब से तो क्योंकि बहुत ही अच्छे नज़ारे और बाइकिंग एक्सपीरियंस वो सो फैबुलस और बहुत ही बढ़िया रहा मेरे लिए लद्दाख हैज मच टू ऑफर फॉर एडवेंचर इट हैज वन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड्स हाईएस्ट बंजी जंपिंग प्लेटफॉर्म एट अराउंड इलेवन थाउजेंड फीट लोकेटेड जस्ट अ फ्यू माइल्स फ्रॉम दी कॉन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ दी जनस्कार एंड इंडस रिवर्स ऑन जिलिंग रोड with a height of about 190 feet Bharat Mata ki jai Bharat Mata ki jai Ye Ladakh bungee jumping uh, 2022 mai mein shuru hua tha yahan ye uh, iska jo height hai total uh, 190 feet hai means ki 65 meter hai sir ye high altitude mein uh, bungee jumping sabse fast hai अभी इतना अल्टीट्यूड पे वर्ल्ड में कहीं भी बंजी जंपिंग नहीं है सर फर्स्ट टाइम मैंने बंजी जंपिंग की है मैं जनरली कोई ट्रिप्स में जाता हूँ तो कुछ ना कुछ एडवेंचर स्पोर्ट्स करता हूँ बंजी जंपिंग पहली बार कर रहा था एंड ये आपका वर्ल्ड का हाईएस्ट अल्टीट्यूड पे ये बंजी जंपिंग होता है सो so मैंने ये किया मेरे को बहुत मज़ा आया बहुत ज़्यादा मज़ा आया विजिटर्स ईगरली इन्जॉय रिवर राफ्टिंग इन लद्दाख While numerous options exist on the Indus River and its tributaries, the most popular routes are around the confluence, including Fay to Nemo, Upshi to Kharu, and Fay to Saspol. Instructors provide essential river rafting information, and boats are transported to the starting point, ensuring strict safety protocols and special attire for participants. सपने का जैसा लगा मुझे कि इसका मजा तो हम बातों में बयान नहीं कर सकते हमें बहुत अच्छा लगा और सभी आइए रिवर जो भी रिवर का जो मजा लीजिए और जो हमारा दो नदियां एक साथ मिल रहे हैं वो भी जो पानी अलग अलग है वो भी देखने को बहुत ही मजा आता है 
सो हम हर भारतवासी को यही कहेंगे एक बार जोर आइए और ये मोजा भी लीजिए Tourists experience the magic of river rafting in Ladakh where deep valleys, towering peaks, monasteries and hillside villages paint a stunning backdrop. As you navigate the Indus and Zanskar rivers, often dubbed the Grand Canyon of the Himalayas, you will immerse yourself in vibrant Ladakhi culture while savoring thrilling border adventures. This unforgettable journey promises memories that will last a lifetime as diwali festivities sparked community spirit across india families joyfully celebrated the vibrant festival of lights they lit oil lamps and burst fire crackers offering heartfelt prayers to lord ganesh and goddess lakshmi for prosperity and good fortune in ayodhya over 2.5 million diyas illuminated the banks of the saryu river setting two guinness world records Celebrations across the country showcased unity and spirit with Indian soldiers lighting sparklers and local children crafting eco-friendly lamps. Take a look. Hindus across India joyfully celebrated the vibrant festival of lights Diwali by lighting oil lamps and bursting firecrackers. in homes and temples people offered heartfelt prayers to lord ganesh and goddess lakshmi seeking their blessings for prosperity and good fortune lord ganesh known as the remover of obstacles is often invoked at the start of new ventures while goddess lakshmi the embodiment of wealth and abundance is worshiped to attract prosperity into daily life The holy city of Ayodhya, the birthplace of Lord Ram, was particularly dazzling on Diwali Eve, setting two Guinness World Records. Over 2.5 million diyas illuminated the banks of the Saryu River as more than a thousand Veda charis performed arti in unison. Adding to the spectacle, nearly 500 drones lit up the night sky, showcasing scenes from Ramayan. This year's Deepotsav marked the first celebration at Lord Ram's birthplace since the consecration of the Ram Lala Temple in January. In the last six days, we prepared this Ram Ki Pedi as well as the Lakshman Ghat area uh, where the Saryu Aarti happens uh, for two different attempts and. The adjudicator from uh, Guinness World Record came and he certified both of our attempts. The first attempt was most people rotating dia, that is arti, and in that uh, 1,121 people participated. That was the largest uh, arti participation you can say in the world. And the second attempt happened as the largest display of oil lamp. The the oil lamp. Uh, you know you are seeing in you are watching it in the on the ramki pedi diwali is celebrated with great fervor and joy across india commemorating the return of lord ram to ayodhya after his victory over ravan the powerful king of lanka the lighting of earthen lamps signifies the warm welcome of lord ram after his 14 year exile symbolizing the triumph of good over evil in madurai drone footage captured a spectacular sky filled with fireworks while residential areas twinkled with lights in the union territory of jammu and kashmir Indian soldiers offered prayers and lit sparklers to mark the festival. Meanwhile, in Bhuvaneswar, children at a local non-profit organization crafted earthen lamps to promote an eco-friendly Diwali, highlighting the spirit of sustainability during the celebrations. It's uh, very nice to see all the uh, joyful kids here doing a eco-friendly Diwali. they are making diyas with eco friendly material and it's a lot of fun to see them sing and play and uh, i really enjoy spending the evening with them diwali 
fosters a deep sense of unity and community spirit, bringing families together to engage in meaningful traditions. As they decorate their homes with vibrant diyas and intricate rangoli designs, the atmosphere fills with joy and anticipation. Families share an array of sweets and savory treats, symbolizing the abundance of love and happiness that the festival brings. Diwali not only brightens our homes but also fills our hearts with joy. And with that, we come to the end of this week's episode. See you next week. Goodbye and take care.